morning this is assignment 7 this is the expected one and in this assignment we are going to prove this that if w1 and w2 are the two subspaces of a vector space v then the dimension of their sum is equal to dimension of w1 plus dimension of w2 minus dimension of their intersection so the theorem is like if W1 and W2 are finite dimensional subspaces of a vector space V. Then their sum is finite dimensional. First we have to prove that their sum is finite dimensional. And then the dimension of their sum is equal to dimension of W1 plus dimension of W2 minus dimension of their intersection. Let's start with the proof. If you look at the diagram over here, this is your V vector space having the two subspaces w1 and w2 and this pink part is their intersection part right and because w1 is finite dimensional and w2 is also finite dimensional so the intersection part is also then finite dimensional all right uh, this green colored part is of w1 having the vector say v1 v2 v3 up to so on as basis and this blue colored one is part of W2 having the vectors of the bases W1, W2, W3. And if you uh, look again that this green colored part plus this pink colored part together form the basis for W1 as V1, V2, V3, the green color vectors and the pink colored vectors, these two together forms the basis for W1. And similarly for W2, these pink colored vectors and this blue colored vectors, these all together forms the basis for W2. Right? This thing is fine? Alright. So let's move on to the proof. Now since W1 intersection W2 is a subspace of V such that W1 intersection W2 is a subset of W1, yes. This pink colored part, it is a subset of W1 and W1 intersection W2 is also the subset of W2. Yes, now their intersection are finite dimensional, right? So this must, because their intersection is finite dimensional, so they must have a finite, uh, they must have a basis having the finite number of vectors. Yes. So let's say that W1 intersection W2 has finite bases. Let's say U1, U2, U3 up to UL. And this is a part of the basis U1, U2, U3, UL, V1, V2, V3, Vm for W1. Let's consider the basis for W1 as these pink colored vectors and these green colored vectors up to M. So, what can you say about the dimension of W1? Yes, how many number of vectors in the basis are having for W1? number of vectors are these l and plus these m so the dimension of w1 is l plus m all right similarly these u1 u2 u3 also forms this is also a part of the basis u1 u2 u3 and w1 w2 w3 right so this is also a part of the basis all these l vectors plus these n vector let's say w1 w2 w3 ends up in wn for w2 so the dimension of w2 is these l vectors plus these n vectors so these are the basis for w2 and these are the basis for w1 now thus the subspace W1 plus W2 is spanned by the vectors. Now complete these two. The sum of W1 and W2. This whole sum is spanned by the vectors. These L vectors, M vectors and N vectors. Right? 
so because we need to prove that these are having the uh, these w1 plus w2 is spanned by the finite number of vectors and these are the base it is we have to prove that w1 plus w2 is finite dimensional which means it must have the finite number of vectors as bases now these vectors this is for basis two conditions should be proved number one the vectors should be the generators of w1 plus w2 secondly those vectors should be linearly independent and just now we have proved that these l plus m plus n all these vectors these are spanning w1 plus w2 so one condition is proved for the basis so required to prove that these are linearly independent okay so to prove that these are linearly independent let me take scalars alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 for all u i's and beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 for all v i's and gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 for all w's right so i'm writing the linear combinations now for all these vectors spanning w1 plus w2 so it is alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 so on alpha l u l plus then is beta 1 v1 plus beta 2 v2 so on it is up to beta m v m and then is a gamma 1 w1 plus gamma 2 w2 so on ending up in gamma n w n equal to 0 and let me mark this linear combination as 1 this is very important to mark 1 now taking the sum as summation i going from 1 to l alpha i u i plus this sum i have written in green color so that it is easier to understand so this summation is from i1 uh, from i going from 1 to m beta i v i and then the last one is the summation in blue colored which is for w2 so the summation is from i going from 1 to n gamma i w i so this is equal to 0 okay uh, let me take these first two terms to the other side first two summations to the other side and writing the negative sign with this or you can take this blue colored one to the other side with negative sign so this is equal to because i have already i am taking this to the right hand side and placing these to the left hand side and writing like this so it is one and the same thing Now this this is a summation for u i, right? And all these u i's are from this intersection, and all these v i's are from this w one part. So they are some because w one itself is a subspace, so the linear combinations also belongs to w one. So the linear combinations of this v i's belongs to w one, and the linear combinations of this u i's also belongs to w1 as in pink colored part so this complete summation is actually belonging to w1 right because w1 is covering these green colored vi vectors and pink colored ui vectors as the, as its basis and also if you look at here that this summation gamma i w i itself is in w2 right because this is a blue in colored and all the wi's are belonging to w2 so the same summation with negative sign belongs to w1 the same summation negative sign in itself belongs to w2 so this summation will belonging to w1 intersection the oh, w1 intersection w2 right okay let me write this also belongs to w1 and the same belongs to w2 also so this belongs to their intersection 
but but this intersection is generated by the vectors u1 u2 yes this intersection is generated by the vectors the pink colored one that is ui's so u1 u2 u3 up to ul right and this is the element for this intersection so because it is generated by these vectors which means every element of this intersection is the linear combinations of these vectors which are the generators so there is a scalar c1 c2 c3 up to cl for that so which means this element which is belonging to the intersection part every element of w1 intersection w2 is written as the linear combinations of their generators so c1 u1 c2 u2 up to cl ul can i write this summation as gamma 1 w1 gamma 2 w2 up to gamma n wn and taking this summation to the other side and equating this equal to 0 Okay, so I'm writing C1 U1 Very fine. Okay, now since this pink colored vectors and blue colored vectors are linearly independent because these forms the these are among the bases of w1 and these are from the basis w2 but these two together forms the basis for w2 so these are linearly independent already right so therefore their scalars are all zero so u1 u2 ul are linearly independent w1 w2 wn are linearly independent because these are the basis for W2. See? The pink colored ones and blue colored ones. Blue colored ones are containing all WIs. These are containing all UIs. And these are containing all VIs. And because UIs and WIs are uh, forms the basis for W2, so these are linearly independent, so their scalars are all 0. right now if you look if you go to the equation one all alphas and gammas are zero so we have left with beta one v one up to beta m v m this is equal to zero so from one Uh, keeping this all equal to 0 ok see we are having c1 up to cl and gamma 1 to gamma n all are 0 so from 1 this part is 0 because gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma n all scalars are 0 so we have only this part left it so I'm writing alpha 1 u1, alpha 2 u2, so on alpha l u l plus beta 1 v1 plus beta 2 v2, so on beta m vm equal to 0. Now if you look at here, these u1, u2, ul, right? This pink colored vectors and green colored vectors. These are the basis for W1. The pink colored vectors and green color vectors. These are the basis of W1. So all these vectors are already linearly independent. Right? So because all these are linearly independent. So all these scalars are equal to 0. 
So alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to alpha 3 so on. Alpha L equal to beta 1 beta 2 so on equal to beta M. All are equal to 0. Right? Fine. So now if you look from 2. From 2 we are having all the CI 0, gamma 0 and all the alpha i's and beta i's. Everything all are 0. Which means u1, u2 up to ul because all the scalars are now 0. See back to equation 1. All the alpha i's, all the beta i's, all the gamma i's, everything, all scalars are 0. So all the alpha i's, all the beta i's and all the gamma i's from 2 and from 3, you can write it as 3. So from 2 and 3, we get all the scalars as 0. So using 1, I can write here, using 1, 2 and 3, we can say that all these are now linearly independent. V1, V2 up to Vm and W1, W2 up to Wn. All these are linearly independent. Right? Now since all these vectors are linearly independent, number 1 and number 2, W1 and W1 plus W2 is generated by all these vectors, which means all these vectors are basis for W1 plus W2. Yes, so all these vectors forms basis for W1 plus W2. So first proof is done. Remaining, we have to solve the dimension for W1 plus W2. Okay. Now, what is the dimension for the sum of the subspaces, which is the total number of vectors present in their bases? So, how many vectors are present? These L vectors plus M vectors plus N vectors. Right? Okay. Uh, can I write together L plus M and then writing... L plus N minus L. I have added and subtracted L. Can I write like this? Okay. Now what is L plus M? This is the dimension of W1. This. L plus M is a dimension of W1 and L plus N is the dimension of W2. Again see. L plus M is the dimension of W1. L plus N is the dimension for W2. So for L plus M I am writing the dimension of W1. L plus N is the dimension of W2 minus what is L? It is a dimension of W1 intersection W2. How many bases are present in W1 intersection W2? W1 intersection W2 has finite bases say U1 up to UL. So from here we can say that the dimension of W1 intersection W2 is having the number of vectors L. So, the dimension of W1 intersection W2 is L. So, here ends up the proof. We have proved that this dimension of sum of the subspaces is equal to dimension of W1 plus dimension of W2 minus dimension of their intersection. Right? Step by step, please revise all the steps. And... Here it is only needed that to guess about the basis of the subspaces, right? Use the definitions, use the definition of linearly independent vectors, 
and just add that the vectors are linearly independent if then all their scalars are zero. So from there you will get other result and other result and finally you get that all the vectors are linearly independent because we got all the scalars to be equal to zero and and because all these vectors have already generated w1 plus w2. So just use the definitions, you will get the result. This is very, very important theorem. So many questions are also done by using this theorem, by using this result, all right? So in the next assignment, we will be doing the same theorem, but the condition is that w1 and w2 are proper subspaces. So in that case, dimension of W1 plus W2 is equal to dimension of W1 plus dimension of W2 only. No intersection part, right? Because W1 and W2 are then proper subspaces of V. So we will see this in the next assignment, right? Thank you so much. God bless you all. Have a very nice day.